what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great today for you guys for today's video i got inspired i felt like doing a makeup inspiration look by one of my all-time favorite makeup artists here on youtube instagram facebook all over social media and I have to mention that it is Nikki Tutorials. It's been a while I've been thinking about doing an inspired look by her and the video that she did with this inspired look was do like a full glam face makeup and then take this half of her other face just like a little portion of it where the eye is and she did like a torn paper kind of look so I really got inspired by that one. I just felt like digging into her channel today and following one of her makeup looks. So you guys stick around for this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the button down below and remember to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in a bit. Oh, there's that. Let's go. Okay, so just like with all difficult, more extreme creative makeup looks, I always wanna do the easy parts first so I can just get that over and done with, and then I'll focus on the terrors of makeup. <laughs> so for today's look, I definitely wanna be starting off by doing my glam side, by doing a lot of color, a lot of glitter, having some fun, you know, feeling my colorful self. That is gonna be on this side, and this side is gonna be the, the punch through paper with no makeup. Okay, glam side it is. So I'm gonna be starting off by priming. This is by Smith & Cult. This is the Glow Bright Primer. All right guys, so like she said, I am going to go ahead and do the same thing that she did. I'm going to go ahead and start with the glam side and this is going to be my glam side. So for today's video, I am going to start off with the Tasha Silk Canvas Primer and I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over my face. Now because I want this side to be perfect and flawless and colorful and fun, of course I'm going in with a full coverage foundation, as if I ever wore something else but that. So today I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the color F2. All right, so today I am also going to be using a full coverage foundation, but it is not going to be the Makeup Revolution, it is going to be my Urban Decay All Nighter Full Coverage Foundation. We're mainly focusing on this side of the face because this is gonna become bare. Of course, if you go in a little bit too far, later on we can take a makeup wipe and remove what we don't need, but yeah. Basically do whatever you want. <laughs> for concealer, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. And for concealer, I am going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light. And now I'm gonna set the face using the Kylie Loose Setting Powder in Soft Pink. I know you thought I was gonna say Fenty Butter, huh? Well, that's true. I thought she was gonna say Fenty Butter, but that is exactly what I'm setting my face with today with the Fenty Setting Powder in Butter. All right, while well, I pounce this in after this, I'm quickly gonna do my one brow off camera because you know how things go around here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, so like Nikki did, I am going to go ahead and do this brow off camera, and I will be right back. Well, I'm really feeling sorry for this brow right about now. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and see what the next step is. Okay, so the brow is on, and now it's time for some color. I absolutely have no clue what to do. All I know is that I want it to be colorful and fun and fresh and happy, and oh my god, there's color on my eyeballs. So first, that's Optimus Prime, and today I'm using the P. Louise Base in White to make all the bright colors pop a bit more. So let's pop on that P. Louise Base in White. From the Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette, I'm going in with Pop Rocks, the purple, because purple never hurt anybody. I don't know what I want to do with this. I think I'm going to put it on the inner portion and on the outer portion. All right, I do not have Pinky Rose, but I do have Anastasia Beverly Hills a Revere palette, and I am going to go ahead and grab Canis Cane, you know, 
that beautiful purple shade that the palette has right here and I am also going to apply it towards the outer portion and the inner portion of my eye like Nikki Tutorials. Let's just see what she does. So just stamping it on using a little defined blender brush. We are committed now, okay? There's purple on the eyeball, so now we gotta work with the purple. We are committed. Oh my God, we are super committed right now. Okay, now using that same brush, I'm softly gonna diffuse the edges by using soft circular miniature motions just to sort of like bump up that edge a bit. Hopping over to the Pinky Rose Obsessed palette and going in with 90s Love, which is a almost neon pink. All right, so you guys heard her, it's time for pink. So I am sticking with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I am going to go ahead and grab Bahamas right here and I'm going to stamp it right by that purple. And this is going right next to the purple. First I'm just again stamping it on, not really worrying much about how it's applied, just as long as it's like right next to the purple. I'm also just going to put that pink here in the crease. Mm -hmm. And then the soft miniature circular motions again to blend. That's kind of looking like an eyeball. <laughs> okay, so remember when Makeup by Mario did that iconic moment on Kim K where he put like a, a center stripe on the eyeball and made it like a highlight and it looked so sultry and beautiful and glam. Kind of want to relive that moment today. So I am going back in with a little bit of the P. Louise base and I'm just stamping this on in almost like a, a diffused line in the center of my eye. And then I'm gonna set that with like shiny stuff and glitter and good stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the same steps, grabbing a little bit of that P. Louise base in white once again. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the center of the eyeball right there. Putting some shimmery white shadow over top and then we're gonna sort of like scratch and buff it out. It's probably not how Mario did it at all but this is what I'm doing. All right, glitter is always a good option, so I'm going in with the Stila Magnificent Metal um, Glitter Thingy in Diamond Dust. And I'm just picking that up on a little brush, and I'm gonna stamp it on the lid. Ooh, I like that. See, that kind of makes it look wet. And if it's like three sure. dimensional, yes, oh, okay. Sure. Okay, yes. I snapped. Look okay, this that. is not what Mario did, but it's what I'm doing. On the lower lash line, I'm first going back in with that purple and stamping it on. So I'm going back in with that purple and stamping it on. And on a tiny blending brush, I'm picking up Dreamsicle, the peachy orange, to buff and blend that out. All right, so I am going to go ahead and grab Monte Carlo from the palette, and I am going to go ahead and blend that color out. And then back into the Obsessed palette, there is a vibrant shimmering yellow called Stay Golden, and I'm gonna use that to spark up my inner corners. The one I am going to use for my inner corner is Inheritance from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it is like a very gold shimmery yellow kind of color as well. It's the closest I could get. So that's what I'm going to be using. So now I'm gonna pop on some lashes off camera and then I'll be back for the crazy side. All right, so now I am going to pop on some lashes off camera and I will be right back for the crazy side. All right, guys, so I am back with my lashes all said and done and now it's time for this side. Let's see what Nikki has for us. All righty, so that is looking really fun. I am highly enjoying that right there. The lashes really completed it. Now let's finish this side of the face with bronzer, highlighter, and all that good stuff. And then we can focus on the drama, mama. First, I'm going to be bronzing using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Private Island. Fenty 
For blush, I'm using my go-to Primrose Peach by Flower Beauty. And for blush, I am using my go-to Tarte Blissful Blush. And for highlight, my current favorite by Fenty Beauty, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. If you don't own this, you're missing out. For highlighter, I am going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Snowflake. All right, glam side done, let's get creative. All right, the first step is to map out where you want the teared paper skin to go. Now, of course, this is gonna be my teared apart side. I do have foundation in some places. So first I'm gonna carve out the shape and then I'm gonna wipe away the makeup that is inside of my shape. I'm just using a light eyebrow pencil to make sure that it isn't too dark when I wanna wipe everything away if I make a mistake. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a light pencil as well. And let's see how this goes. So right now, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just, you know, I'm just. So right now, this it. portion right here is solely the part that won't have any makeup on it. And everything around it are sort of the flaps of paper flipped out and torn out. So this is kind of the general shape. The most important portion of this look is of course the shading and highlighting. This is what's really gonna sell this makeup look. Taking an ashy medium brown, and let's start adding depth to the deepest part of the, the tears. Place that color and then kind of smush it out. It also really helps placing the brush flat against the skin and then just doing scratchy motions. And that's just gonna do the blending work for you. See? All right, so that is step number one in the basic shading. Now, already you can see that depth is starting to happen. You already see sort of like the idea coming alive. So now it's time to go in with darker, more ashy shades to build depth even more. Oh my God, this is so fun. It's so much fun working on your shadows, scribbling around, scratching around, blending around, and then looking back and then you're like, oh my God, that is, that is totally starting to look like something. So just keep going. I'm gonna go in with an even deeper shade. Keep it more concentrated and small and don't blend it out as much. And that is gonna give you even more depth. Okay, so I already added even a darker shade towards those edges, as she said, and now, let's see what's next. Now you wanna start shading the torn pieces of paper. So starting super close to that edge of where the skin is torn, you wanna start adding your shadows, and in between, we're gonna add lighter colors to give that feel of paper, but you wanna shade from bottom up. Then taking a white eyeshadow and from top, blending that down to start our highlighting process. Now guys, this is the first time I'm actually trying stuff like this, so I don't actually know what I'm doing here, all I'm doing is looking at Beauty by Belinda's picture and sort of like mapping down what she possibly could have done and then trying to mimic it on my face. I'm don't looking at you, Nikki. Like. Um, it might be a failure, but then at least I tried. It was really darkening. You and me both, sister. You thought that was all the shading we were gonna do? No, you're also gonna shade around the paper because the paper is laying on top of the skin, creating a shadow. And so I'm going in with white liquid liner to add the highlights. And basically you just wanna trace a very thin line surrounding the paper.
Oh my God, yeah, so I made a couple of more pointy corners because everything looked a little bit too round and now it actually looks like paper laying on top of my skin. Ah! All right, I went off camera for a little bit to kind of gather my thoughts because it got a little confusing. Let's do these two right here and hopefully it will turn out decent. All right, guys, so when Nikki said she had to go off camera to gather her thoughts, you guys, I got scared. I mean, I had to go off camera and gather my thoughts as well. So anyway, I had to pause her video, just look and see what she had done because she did go off camera. And I forgot that detail, but everything is coming together, y'all. It's coming together. So Nikki returned and is back in action. So let's see what she has for us now. And what I'm noticing for myself is that it gets really confusing until you start adding in the white shadow and then you kind of look at yourself in the mirror again and you're like, oh my God, it's starting to become something again. So every now and then when you feel like nothing is working out, add a little bit of white and it just really brings it to life. So don't give up. You got this, I believe in you. Hell, this is confusing for me too and I've been doing makeup for so long. But look, I add it white and you're like, oh my God, that's paper. Ooh, and then when you add that shading right next to it, pulling in towards the other side. Ooh, baby, now that is when it comes alive. All right, this is really starting to look like something. So now I'm just gonna do this one off camera and then I'll be right back. Well, like Nikki said, she did this off camera so I'm going to go ahead and finish it off off camera be right back with the final look, so stick around. So I'm back and I finished off with the details. I kind of tried to copy the best I could from Nikki Tutorials. And you know, I think it looks like a punch through paper. I mean, what do you guys think? Go ahead and leave comments down below. I will surely appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Always remember that your inner beauty is what truly reflects your outer beauty. And I don't have a Dutch word, but I have a Spanish one for you guys. Adios amigo. Hasta la próxima. Mwah. And there we have it guys, this Billie Eilish bad guy makeup by Belinda inspired look where there's so much glam but when you peel it off there is the no makeup you and um, yeah I am really really proud with how this came out. Alright guys I want to thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed. Never forget to be creative with makeup if you're in the mood for it and if you're not in the mood for it keep it simple or don't put anything on. It's up to you baby. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!